Hello, welcome to this video. Today we're looking at Microsoft Word and a new feature that's just recently announced and that's specifically related to the web version of Word. I'm using the browser-based version in Chrome on a Mac and that is the ability to embed content into a Word document. So historically when you added a link in a Word document it would just remain as a link and they'd have to click on it to go to the content. And now what they've done, very similar to, to a feature which has been in OneNote, is that you can add links and it embeds the content for you. So there's a number of sites and resources you can now embed in a Word document. And I think this opens up a whole wealth of opportunities. So let's look at, at the process. Very straightforward. We're going to start with a YouTube video. We go to YouTube, we can click share, we copy the link, go back to the document, paste, hit enter, and the content is there and we can play it directly in the Word document. So that's a YouTube video. Other content that's embeddable is a Flipgrid video. So we can do the same process. We can copy the link and we can paste that into the Word document. As soon as we hit enter, it embeds the content for us. And again, it is playable within the Word document. So, so far we've had Flipgrid and YouTube. It's also possible to add a stream video. So that's uh, Microsoft's organizational video streaming service. So we can copy that same process into the Word document. We hit paste and it embeds the stream into the document for us. And then a couple of other features we've got. So we can do videos, which is really useful. Uh, and I could imagine a great way to create a playlist. Maybe have some videos for some flip learning. And then in addition to that, we can also add a Sway. So I've copied the Sway link into the Word document, paste and enter, and it embeds the Sway. So I'm thinking immediately this is really useful. We could have a video as an introduction to the session. The students then look through the Sway and then to finish off, the final thing that we can embed is a form. So we can copy the link to the form back to the Word document and as with the others, we can paste it in and it embeds the form in there. So some really useful functionality. As I say, it's only supported in the online version of Word. And I believe it's only the browser-based version, but I may be wrong with that one. But yeah, a great feature. I could see it being used to create a playlist of activities for a student to do during a lesson. I could see students creating almost like a, a, a document portfolio with various evidence added to it. Lots of possibilities. So I hope you found the video useful. Give it a like, remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon for more EdTech videos. Thanks for watching.